For the past three years, I've been using this plugin in almost all my edits. And in my opinion, I think it's still the best free plugin for Final Cut Pro. With this plugin, you can easily do some zoom into your videos and images. Also, you can have these 3D looks to your images or PDF files. And you can use it as an adjustment layer for your edits. And guess what, guys? You can use it to create this floating vibe to your images or your cutout images that makes your animation look so cool. So the plugin I'm talking about is MCAM Rig that comes from Motion VFS. On their website, it says Camera Animation Rig for Final Cut Pro and DaVinci Resolve. And I guess by now you know how to install plugins when it comes to Final Cut Pro. If not, I'll leave a video card up here, you can check on that later on. After installing the plugin, you can find it on the left side of the software under Titles. You just drag and drop it in the timeline. In this video, I'm not going to explain what the parameters is all about. Oh, come on! This guy did a great job already on that. I think he did an amazing job on explaining what this parameters is all about. But in this very video, I'm just gonna walk you guys through what you can create with this very free plugin. When you drop the plugin in the timeline, it comes with this in and out animation. Let me show you what it looks like. It comes in and then it goes out smoothly. And when you look carefully, it has this strong blur. When you scroll down, I'll turn that to somewhere 10%. Also with the camera angle view, it shows how much you can zoom in. So let's say if you really want to zoom in to this very amount, you can just drag it below. Or if you want to really zoom in, then you can increase it a lot. Usually I leave it at default settings. It looks really cool. Then I use this on-screen controls and direct it exactly where I want to zoom in. So with this, I'll play and show you guys how it looks like goes in now let's make a duplicate of that by pressing option and dragging to this side let's drop it on this let's turn on in and out animation now let me turn on the plugin v to disable it and with this it's just a screen recording and i want the viewers to focus on this very part on the screen so let me turn it on and now I'll use the on-screen controls and direct it to exactly this side now I'll play and show you guys how it looks like so it zooms in to that very part. And then when I'm done with that, it just zooms out smoothly. And with this, it's so hard to get that smooth zoom in when you're using the transform keyframe. This is a straight stocking head that I did. I'll drag it onto the timeline. Let's make it short. Click on that. Turn off the out animation. And then when you scroll down depth of field, let's turn it to somewhere 5%. And then with the angle, let's go to somewhere 70 and use the on-screen controls and directly exactly on my face. So let's say if this very part, I was saying something that I want to zoom in, I'll just drag it. And then when I want to do it exactly the same on the rest of my timeline, all I have to do is just copy that command C, go to where I want it to happen then command V to paste it right there. So with this, it makes my life easier without doing it on the video itself with the keyframes under the transform. So I can do as many as I can, command V, command V. So when you look carefully, it zooms in and then it goes back to normal and then it will zoom in and this will save you a lot of time. Also, if you don't want the in animation with this adjustment layer style, you can just turn it off. I'll show you guys, let me turn all off and then look carefully. So when it gets to that side, it already zooms in and you can use it as your adjustment layer to just zoom in or to hide some cut that you don't really want to show in your edit. This is a PDF file that I exported from my YouTube page. So with this, I'll just scroll down under special conform, turn it to fill, and it's gonna fill the entire screen. So what I normally do is just click on that, click on this transform icon, Let's drag it downward so we can see exactly the top. So this is the top part of it. And what I normally do is I go to the first frame of it, make a keyframe on position, then go to the last part one frame, make another keyframe on position. Then on Y axis, I'll just drag it up a little bit. So now we have this look, it scrolls up slowly. And when this done, just go to the title side, drag MCAM rig, on top of this image or PDF file. Let's stretch it to make it the same length with this. So with this, we'll just turn off in and out animation, but if you want it, you can leave it on. 
and then scroll down on rotation y rate i usually go with somewhere minus three or minus four and it gives this cool look but you can play around it let me show you guys with the x when i do it you can see the cool look that it gives so you can be playing around all these parameters to achieve some great cool look so this i'll just turn it on like way and then i'll play and show you guys what we have so far so it goes very smooth and clean and gives you this 3d look and with this you can be using it as a b-roll for your edit so to get this floating vibe this is a video and also there is a cutout image that i did on photoshop so what you do is just go to the left side of the software drag mcam rig on top of this very image and right there you can see it has this zoom in so let's turn off in and out animation scroll down with the camera view let's turn it really down we don't want that zoom in so probably zero will be okay with the blur amount let's turn it down to zero we don't need that make it the same length as the image so when you scroll down it has this wriggle on and off that's what's going to give you that floating vibe so with this just turn it on and i'll play and show you guys how it looks like so you can see it gives you this floating vibe in the air kind of vibe. When you use the handshake effect that comes from Final Cut Pro, you will not be able to get the same vibe or the floating vibe as this very plugin. With the regular strength, usually I turn it down if I don't want it to be so aggressive. With the background opacity, I'll just turn it off because I don't want anything showing at the background. Then I'll just make a compound clip of it by selecting all right click and create a new compound clip so with this done i'll just drag it and drop it on the video that i want the cutout to be on so something like this looks cool and then with the transform i'll just decrease the size of it to somewhere 50 depending on how you want it to look like this next video will show you 10 masking effects you can create in final cut pro catch you guys on the next one peace